Hello YouTube, and you may be hearing my voice slightly differently right now, and I definitely feel weird, but um, one of my YouTube friends has lent me their microphone, it's one of those blue snowball microphones, and it feel it's feeling really weird without a headset on, but hey, and I've got speakers today, so um, if you go deaf, I apologise, but I will try and inform you. Um, so we're going to car carry on our work with um, our bug fixing, and by the way, this microphone's only for a, this tutorial, it's just a test. If I like it, I'll go out and purchase one. It's one of those things. So, the main menu will look where we are so far. Hopefully you can hear me and that. Click play game, and we've got this. So, pick a character. We know that works. We click next, and we get an error. So, we need to continue there. So, let's begin. This tutorial won't be that long either. So, yes. So, we go to the left wall, and we can see we've got it here. So if we click the main camera, we have gender select. So we're going to rename that instead of gender select to character creation. And you might be wondering why we just reprogrammed it all. It was fine. It worked how it was. It did, but the thing is, we if we keep it all in one place, we can make a back button. Don't worry about the error. And what I'm trying to show you is sometimes when you program something, it does work. But then you know how to program it more more efficient so it doesn't use as much processing power and it works better than it did even though it's taking more time repeating what you've already done you will encounter it a lot during programming I guarantee you and um, a lot of people do it even professional gamers will probably end up doing it well game programmers will do it so yeah so we've got gender select here 70 on character creation so we've got an error here so we go to line 70 and I'm guessing it's when it deletes it so we'll zoom in Line 70, right there. Main camera dot gender select dot enabled equals false. So we don't need to disable it no more because we've already got it. And we don't need to move the camera either. So what we can generally do is just get rid of all that. And we can change, we'll add a variable at the top called stage. And you'll not know why this is here yet, but I'll show you. Edges. So var stage, and it'll be an in, and we'll say zero. Stage zero. And you, you'll not know where it is yet, but when you do, you'll ha like it. So I'll say stage plus plus. So add one onto stage. Okay? So is camera equals true. So we don't need is camera either anymore. So we can just get rid of all those. So um, there's going to be a lot of changes. So get rid of the is camera here. That's it, and we'll go back. So now what we're going to do around this is type switch because the switch statement looks nice and we'll type stage so switch between the stages um, com stage numbers so and apply the switch statement like so so we need to do the case now so case 0 if it's case 0 do all that then break that one that's it and put it out so if it equals 0 which stage does equal zero, we set it like that, then it'll do this. And then when we click the button to say next, it goes next to stage two, or case one. There we go. So you can see we've got it all on one script nearly already. So up here we have to do the same again with switch. So here, so you might be wondering how will we do the clicking effect? Well, it's really easy as well. So what we're going to do is go back up top and we're neatening it all out now, aren't we? So we're going to go down and type game objects. And we're going to do one for male and female. So var male and it will be game object. Duplicate it and control D and female. So create those two game objects. And then what we can do is when we assign them, because we don't want to assign it in here because you don't know where, which stage they'll start at, even though you could if you like. So male, right here, on mouse up, we don't need any more. Because we just make a script which when you click it, it disables the object. Click disable, really simple. So we go to our scripts and we will put it, what have we got, let's have a look. Uh, tools, that'll do, we'll put it in here, right click, create, and we'll say JavaScript, a click disable really simple and we'll apply it to both female and male so click disable can't ask it because we have errors okay so let's fix the errors first okay click disable I apologize so you get this if not but don't matter. type there on mouse up so when you click 
Well, click disable, so we type this.gameObject, so get the current game object. And what do we want to do? We want to disable it, so dot set active, there we go, and true. You might be wanted to, you'd be tempted to probably type dot active equals true, or actually it should be, both should be false. But Unity's new features you set active true. Not that much difference, just do it. Enabled still the same. So just do that, set active equals false. Click disable. Simple, right? Easy. So, we'll get that, and now what we need to do is fix these ones. So don't worry about it. So back to character creation. So Ismail we don't need anymore. So I assume the spotlights are on the characters, which they are, so it'll automatically de turn them off or on, whichever one you click. Simple, right? So what we're going to do is above this on mouse, in fact not even on the mouse, so we can just get rid of this feature. Yes. Just get rid of the entire feature, we don't need that. We'll fix it as we go along. So misc sounds equals background music. Yes, we do want it to play that. Um, the main camera will be set at the default position, we want that too. So function on GUI, now we can continue with the next GUI in a minute. Really simple. Right? So, it comes down here, so we, when we click the button which is in the right position, it plays the stage click sound. Do we want it to do that? Yes, we do. If it's male, see, now we, we don't need this either because it already disables it for us, so we can just get rid of it. We can do all the gender stuff at the end, so it's fine. So, yep, what we can do though is move the character to the place it needs to be. So, we can type on male, so in the here, if mail dot set active e in fact just put active equals true it'll probably moan it us, but it'll be okay so if mail dot active equals true then we want mail dot transform dot position to be in the middle of the screen don't we so if we were playing it here we want him to roughly be in the middle so we'll select the female then as a test so roughly there so 45 minus 45 put her back so we want her dot x to be minus 45 and that should put her in the center copy it and then put an else on it because not both of them are going to be true are they so if the male is active do that but if the female is active move her in the middle simple right so come back and it should get rid of all the errors so you can see we've got character loading which is different now so open that up, this is the one where it loads our character into the game, just comment it all out for now, we'll fix it later. This is going to be a longish thing, but it's going to improve it massively, I I, I mean it, <laughs> it's going to be good. So we'll stick our uh, tools on here, so click disable and click disable, and now we'll automatically disable one, uh, gender, f in fact male. Automatically disable him. We still need to make the in and move them in and out bits, but don't worry about that. So if we go to the main camera and hide everything, we can assign the men, male and female characters like so. So we play and we can disable it, but it disables it completely. We need it to re enable it. So what we can do is on here click disable, is type above it. If this dot game object dot active equals true, then make it false. Else, make it true. So if it's equals false, that means it's disabled. That needs to be turned back on. So then we can click, 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 and make them both back on. And then what we can do in our character creation bit, this is where you're going to like it, is in the function update section, like so. What we can do is in here is type all this again so if male if female bit uh, align it neatly so if male is active equals true then we want to set the female dot active dot set active to false so only one of them can be on at once and we'll set that to true for male 
So yeah, now only one can be active at once. So if the male's active, set the female false. So it's disappeared. But if the female's active, then we want the male to be false. So we only want one character to be on at once. So I've just put my timer on, 10 minutes. So if we click play, you should see when we click one, it should disable the other. And we've created our little cycle. Okay, the variable male has not been assigned, even though it's right there. So, the variable male. Okay, now it's messing up. But yeah, so we'll carry on fixing it next tutorial because there's a lot of things I need to go over off cam just to make sure it's right. And we'll get back to it next time. So please, thumbs up. Sorry, it's still bug fixing, but we'll fix it one day. If you like the new microphone, please visit the channel below and say thank you to her for lending it me. It was very thankful of them. And I'll see what it sounds like then. I'll see if I want to buy it, but it might, it's going to go back to my headset soon. So thumbs up and see you next time. Also, comment below the word chameleon. Just Google it. In fact, that's too hard to spell. Spell camera. Put it in the comments to show me you got this far. See you next time.